It was different times. Uh, it was provoked by elections. Uh, when the first president of Romania, Robert Kucharian, changed to third president of Romania, Sirsa uh, uh, But the situation was different because uh, first you had uh, economic growth from 2002 approximately to 2008. So it was a time when, for example, migration balance of migration was, you had more people and coming to Armenia than from Armenia. Social situation was different. Uh, situation in Karabakh was uh, better uh, than, than uh, now. Uh, and maybe many most important political uh, political difference was that it was a time when the former president did not want to go to the third term. Uh, Robert Kocharyan lived the chair in politics and Serzhan Aksyan was not very popular but new person, newcomer. So it wasn't like it was 10 years ago when, uh, when Serzhan Aksyan wanted to stay. <music> 2008 was the uh, first year of uh, President Susan Saksan, and it was the first year of economic, world economic crisis. And in beginning in 2008, uh, it was uh, according to decree, it was uh, very serious. And then you have the stagnation, economic stagnation, I mean, uh, all these years, 2017. And you had the migration, as a result, you had migration from country, you had social problems, you had people leaving the country, you had the situation in Karabakh became worse and worse. In the beginning of that period, in 2008 9, you had what they usually call sniper wars, so people shoot it from time to time, not very often. At the end, you had, I would say, wide scale, not maybe wars, but escalations with artillery, with tanks, uh, etc. Et uh, the situation became worse and worse and, and authorities, Republican Party, became less and less popular. I would say at the uh, end of this period, 2017-2008, uh, after 2016 maybe, the rating of, uh, of authorities was very low. They didn't have Live social legitimacy, I would say, at all. They were strong, not because they were strong. They uh, were strong not because they were legitimate and popular, they were not. They, I mean, the ruling class elites. But they were, they could manage because opposition really was very weak as well. Opposition was very weak, so they didn't have something against them really. And the main instrument of Republican Party leaders of, of um, uh, elites of that time, uh, that period, was, um, I would say, management of apathy. Uh, people were very, you had apathy on, on policy as well. You have very low legitimacy of any uh, political body, parliament, political parties, opposition, by the way, uh, ruling party, uh, presidential institute, etc., etc. So if that, if it was apathy, if they were not popular, if they could manage this apathy, if if I, a citizen, somebody from the street, somebody from uh, ordinary citizens of country, if I believe nothing, if I don't believe that you can change something in the country by election, by political life, so better I will take my twenty dollars uh, or thirty dollars and, and will will vote as they want because I don't believe that I can change something by, by political participation. And it was their way to manage the situation. The mistake was that they thought that you can do it forever. Really, you can't. So 
I would say that similar was uh, pluralism and the hybrid nature of regime. If you compare that regimes with others, Belarus, Russia, Azerbaijan, uh, Turkmenistan, uh, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan, uh, and Kazakhstan, you will see there really authoritarian regimes. Here you see authoritarian regimes as well, but weaker. You can, uh, you had opposition, you had political pluralism in all these countries. You had uh, and have uh, political opposition, weak uh, opposition, but you had it. Nikol Pashinyan, before revolution, he was in parliament, he was a parliamentarian. He was not in prison, he was not killed, he was not outside the country as you uh, sometimes see in other countries. He was in parliament. He had freedom of press, weak press, I wouldn't say independent, but plural. Uh, you had political parties, uh, you had uh, opposition movements from the streets. You have civil society, you have all this. All this was weak, but you had uh, you had a background for establishing of people, structures, mechanisms, milieus for future uh, revolution. We can call it revolution or not, doesn't matter. But what is matter that I, I, I say the background was no legitimacy of, of, uh, of Republicans and trigger was that Serge Sarsad uh, in 2014 when they uh, when it was a process of changing of constitution of Armenian constitution from uh, presidential system to parliamentary and semi-presidential to parliamentary he literally said to people that we are going to change constitution this is good this is plural more European, more democratic, or the checks and balances, uh, so it's good. When we have plans, we should change it. Uh, and I will go. Uh, after he decided not to go, but to become prime minister and to go to the third, really third term, to continue, as you uh, had a lot of examples all of the former Soviet Union, but never in Armenia. It was a trigger. People said no. Nikol Pashinyan and people around uh, him, they are uh, managers of protests. Uh, from the beginning, by the way, officially Nikol Pashinyan worked um, uh, he's a journalist, was a journalist, and uh, he worked in, in, as an editor of a newspaper, but it was not just newspaper, it was very radical on Thai uh, governmental and Thai ruling elites uh, newspaper, and you know, they were criticizing uh, Republicans, he, concrete he, he, and people around him, from from 2005, uh, 6, 7, they were very young when they began to do it. And it was a group of people who were uh, politicians, sure, but politicians, I would say, from the streets, uh, from uh, mass rallies, criticizing, from civil society, from uh, opposition journalism, different types of protests, all their life, about maybe 15 years, something around that. Uh, they were just leaders of protests. It was in uh, April 21, 22, uh, maybe, maybe 2021, when protests mm, decentralized. Their logic, logic of Republicans were, was technical, that you can deal with protests by poli police uh, instruments, police methods. After decentralizing of the protests, when you really didn't have a structure, you didn't have a pyramid, you had uh, local pyramids everywhere around the country. It was decentralized 
protest it was everywhere so to arrest somebody would it be one person or a hundred persons was useful they did it they arrested Nicole Pashidan and then uh, several dozens of people but it was useful because you had a protest all over the country uh, outside Yerevan, inside Yerevan, everywhere so what what should you do in such a kind of situation? Uh, you should or go to really mass uh, using of army and I'm not really sure that they could do it or in the home. I try to be realistic. Uh, every transit of a lens. Uh, every quick transit of Berlin's what we call revolution is a possibility, a hope, uh, uh, and a risk. You have new people, you have people who are not homogeneous, you have a genius group of people. Uh, they are not experienced in Europe or in the country. And you have uh, Expectations from population which are which are uh, not realistic in principle. The expectations are that you will change something uh, to to change uh, bad guys to good guys and good guys, and the media will be in Switzerland in, in a couple of weeks. This is possible in principle. All problems of our media, like corruption. Problems with investments, uh, conflict, uh, you need some security, business and politics together, etc., uh, etc., et are systemic problems you cannot resolve in quick, even if you will, would have brilliant, uh, I don't know, uh, experts, brilliant uh, elite, etc. So you will have problems, it's not very easy uh, looking around. Uh, I see situations like that from Moldova to Kyrgyzstan and uh, nowhere is paradise. So you need to work. You need to work for decades, maybe for generations to change something. And expectations are not like that. Uh, people, people is waiting for changes uh, immediately. It's not very easy. We'll look uh, how, how it will go, but I'm not sure that, that it, it, it is easy to do to do such kind of things.